Hi and welcome everybody. Today we are talking about how to install the wingtips, the ailerons and the flaps on my TSI. So, after you have installed all your wires, you have to remove the outer chick so you can install this rib. Uh, and on this rib, there will go the wingtip. Um, this is not really difficult, the only thing is you have to install uh, those holes and you have to align those holes and you have to drill those uh, in the correct place. Of course, you should be sure where to. Uh, drill those holes you only have one piece and one chance to make it right so it should be aligned with the ribs uh, and in the correct position to do that you can mount the wing dip on the wing uh, like this um, take a piece of wood so you get a, a straight fitment and also be sure that there is a, a nice gap between uh, the ailerons and, and the wing dip. It should be uh, the same gap from the top and the bottom. Uh, on the inside of the wing tips we used some aluminium to strength out a little bit um, the holes for the rivets and you ha also have to countersink some of those holes. Here you can see the countersunk uh, rivets with the strings inside and then you can just rivet it on the on the wing it's not a really big deal um, to do that so you get a just be sure and make sure you have a nice fitment and that the uh, wing tip is really nice aligned uh, with your rib and with your aileron uh, for the light we made um, we used the laser, we aligned the wing with the laser so that the, the wing is completely leveled out and then we put the la laser a little bit higher so we leveled out the position for the for the strobe light and we installed the light and yes, this is the, the first part. The second part is to align uh, and mount the, the ailerons. As you can see they are really flexible at the first stage because uh, the leading edge of the rivets is not riveted by now um, and this is really important uh, to get the the right twist in the in the ailerons so you can see here we aligned the ailerons and the flaps uh, with the laser in the manual it says you should take a a rope or something like that uh, to get uh, a straight edge. We use the laser. Of course, the laser is not leveled. This is why the laser is blinking. But we aligned the laser um, to the to the wing. Um, and as you can see, uh, it worked out quite well. To get the right twist into the ailerons. Um, you align the ailerons with the with the laser and then you put the aileron down and insert one rivet then you pull the rivet and you put the aileron up again and check if you have the right uh, twist in your aileron and then you put the aileron down again do the next two rivets uh, on the side and and so on and so on so that the the ailerons and the flaps are really nice aligned with each other so this is really important to get the the right alignment and the straight line uh, in the back of your wings because this is just for your performance you can imagine if you have a twist in your flaps or in your ailerons this would be uh, a really bad feeling if you go flying with, with such a plane. And what you get is a really nice big uh, finished wing. It's amazing how, how big this wing is and it's it looks really cool. 
as you can see, we have made a new ring stand. So we have screwed the cheek on one on the one side and made some holding on the other side so that the ring is safe and it can be moved by one person with just one hand. It, it's, uh, it's really easy to, to move around with the wings. And we also attached the flap to the, to the flap torque tube and you can <laughs> first time wave your flaps and so this is this is really cool. This was uh, much easier than expected, and it shows how cool and how precise uh, this this kit is made. Thanks for joining in, and I hope we will see you again on my TSI.